Wrestling, the very best in professional wrestling. Portland Wrestling is brought to you by Tom Peterson. For all your furniture, appliance, stereo, and TV needs, it's Tom Peterson. With three great stores at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. I'm Don Koss, your host for Portland Wrestling. Tonight, from the Portland Sports Arena, we've got a we've got a double bull rope match. Now, whether you're going to see that or not will be remain to be seen or not seen later. We also have the return of Matt Bourne, and wait until you see who he's going to wrestle. Matt Bourne is back. We also have a TV title match on the line. We'll get that started right away. And we have Chris Colt fighting Steve Dahl. Can you believe that, huh? Well, there's a lot of things that you're not going to believe once we get going. And we will get going right after this. We'll be back with all the action, all the news, all the interviews, everything right after this. Don't go away. It's our happy holiday sale with free gifts for you. Buy any microwave oven and get this cook set free. Plus, every weekend, free gift wrapping with your microwave oven purchase. Microwave ovens on sale. Sanyo Microwave, $99. White Westinghouse Microwave, $149. Sanyo Microwave with the three most wanted features, $199. This full-size GE Microwave Oven, only $249. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. Microwaves at Tom Peterson's, we've got them over 100 on display. And tomorrow when you buy a microwave oven, we'll gift wrap it for you just like this. Great for under the Christmas tree. This is just one of the great buys, Sanyo, $199. Has a probe, 650 watts of power, everything you want. Electronic touch controls, and when you buy it, you get the free dishes too. That's right, at Tom Peterson's, don't miss this great buy, Sanyo microwave oven, only $199. Eddie Murphy. He talks like Mr. T. I heard you did some jokes about me. No, you didn't. Maybe I didn't. I'm gonna go beat up the fool that told me them lies. He moves like Michael Jackson. Can I talk to you for a He sounds like Bill Cosby. I would like to talk to you. He's part Richard Pryor. Tell Bill I said have a poke and a smile and shut up. But he's all Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Raw, the movie, rated R. Starts Friday, December 18th at a theater near you. A message from Weyerhaeuser. Kids want many of the things they see advertised on television. For children, a commercial is a kind of promise that a product is delicious to eat or fun to play with. Our parents can help kids decide if those promises are true. Get your child to write down the promises in a commercial and compare them with the actual product. Decide together if the product is really worth buying. That's one TV smart way to watch commercials. And once again, we welcome you to the Portland Sports Arena. This place is going to be going crazy. It's already starting to get pretty weird. In the ring right now, we've got gorgeous Joey Jackson with his manager, Chris Colt. And this is going to be uh, for the TV title, the TV title held right now by Art Barr. Art will be coming through the crowd here in just a moment. Get ready for our first match and tell by the reaction of the crowd that Art Barr is on his way through the crowd to the ring. There he is. He's got the trophy with him. The trophy in his hand is our TV title trophy. Now, this, of course, is a, is a title that is defended only on television on Saturday nights. Last week, successfully defended by Mr. Barr, and he's going to try to repeat that again tonight. His father, Sandy Barr, getting into the ring right now. He'll be our referee for the evening. And here comes Don Owen getting into the ring to make the announcement of our first match tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The first event this evening will be one fall uh, before the TV trophy bout. Introducing in this corner the challenger, 238 pounds from Tennessee, gorgeous Joey Jackson. In this corner, the defending TV champion, 225 pounds, Art Barr. 
Introducing Chris Colt, the greatest manager in the world. Referee Sandy Barr. It's Chris the Barber Colt. Anybody want a haircut? Yeah, well, <clears throat> I don't think you'd want a haircut the way he gives them. And uh, last week he gave a haircut to uh, Sandy Barr, the referee. And before that it was uh, it was Art Barr. And now uh, he's getting quite a quite a lineup there of of haircut victims. In fact, they've already started a list. Last week, uh, Moon Dog Veretti was carrying around that poster that uh, they were putting the names on. And I have a feeling that, uh, that Mr. Colt brought brought his uh, scissors with him again tonight, combing the hair, the locks of gorgeous Joey Jackson. We're getting about ready to get started for our first match tonight from the Portland Sports Arena for the TV trophy. Uh -huh. Now, how smart you! <laughs> gorgeous Joey Jackson thought he would pull a uh, Ric Flair on Art Bar, fake the handshake. Was real uh, proud of himself. Turned his back on Art Bar and paid for it. And now uh, we'll start all over again. Reminder right away that next Saturday night, thanks to uh, Mr. Owen, all kids will be admitted free. Next Saturday night, right here from the at the Portland Sports Arena, all kids admitted free, but accompanied by paying adults. So mark that one down and bring the whole family next week and watch pro wrestling in person. It's fun to watch it and exciting to watch it in on television. But it's even more fun and exciting in person. Both men lock up, side head locked by Art Barr. And you can see Chris Colt down there already yelling, creating a disturbance, trying to distract the referee. And now uh, Jackson backs Barr and then throws him into the ropes. Over goes Barr and shoulder tackle by Art Barr. There, the leapfrog by gorgeous Joey Jackson, a back body drop by Jackson, and Barr lands right on his feet. Barr landed on his feet. There was a drop kick, take down, and he's got a head scissors on Joey Jackson, and now Chris Colt is on the apron of the ring. Oh, Colt didn't uh, think too much of that. What a move that was by Art Barr. Art was... Joey Jackson with a... with a back body drop on Barr, who landed on his feet. How many times have we talked about this before? The speed, the athletic agility, and ability of Art Barr. There's a kick out by, and a nip up by Joey Jackson, but to no avail whatsoever, as he finds himself right back down in the grasp of Art Barr. Art Barr, in almost every match, gives up size, gives up bulk, gives up a lot of weight to his opponent. But there is no way that his opponent can match the speed of Art Barr, as you saw just a little bit ago. Good crowd here tonight at the sports arena. Lots of folks here tonight. There's going to be lots of folks here next Saturday night. Uh, look at that move right off the ropes, and another takedown, and Art Barr just hung right on to gorgeous Joey Jackson, probably at a time when Jackson was wishing that he, that he wouldn't hang on. Jackson thought he was going to be able to get uh, Barr off his neck. But Barr just climbed those ropes in that turnbuckle, used that top rope. We've seen him just literally walk across those ropes, fly across the ring. Very exciting wrestler, Art Barr. Now there's Chris Colt smoking on that stogie. Distracting, once again, distracting the referee over on the other side of the ring, yelling at Sandy Barr and Art Barr, hanging on to that side headlock on Joey Jackson. As the smoke from Chris Colt's cigar just circles the ring now. This is our first match tonight. This for the TV title. Reversal whip into the ropes goes Art Barr. Down goes Joey Jackson. And, oh, man, he caught Art Barr and just dropped him. Throat first, right on that top rope. Just dropped him, and that uh, extremely dangerous uh, move. And now, what's Chris Colt doing? He's going to choke him some more. 
Colt uses that rhinestone belt of his and wraps it around the throat of Art Barr. And now Barr being choked again on that top rope. And whiplash back. An extremely dangerous move when, when one wrestler drops another one throat first across that top rope because, as you've heard Dutch Savage say many times, that is not really a rope. It's a steel cable with a uh, garden hose type material wrapped around it. And there's nothing rope about it. And when, your, when your throat comes down on that, that can, uh, that can cause permanent damage. All right, now Joey Jackson trying to cause some permanent damage, or at least temporary damage to Art Barr, and he did with that tremendous elbow smash. One, two, and Barr kicks out. Chris Colt is obsessed with getting any title, any trophy that he possibly can, and his directive to the Mafia is get the TV title trophy. And that assignment has been laid to tonight on the head of Joey Jackson, who's in a pretty good position right now to get that trophy, as he's really laying some hurts on Art Barr. Now the crowd really getting behind Barr, and Barr elbows, and then drop kicks nothing and lands on the back of his neck. He elbowed his way out of the grasp of Joey Jackson and then drop kicked nothing but the air. And there's Chris Colt again using that belt of his, choking Art Barr, this time across the bottom rope, using his belt. Again, this time, Sandy Barr being distracted by Joey Jackson. Jackson and Colt working as a team, really. In fact, any one of the Mafia, members of Chris Colt's Mafia, when they're in the ring, they're working as a team with Chris Colt. And you might as well consider Colt part of a tag team. Even though he's supposed to be sitting in that chair down there, and he very seldom stays there. Power body slam by Joey Jackson. One, two, and Art Barr kicks out. The crowd responding to Barr. Getting that adrenaline plug. Oh, did Barr ever lay one in the bread basket of Joey Jackson? There's another one. And now with a whip into the ropes goes Jackson. A drop kick this time. Art Barr makes contact. And Joey Jackson's bell is being rung. There's a body slam by Art Barr. We're down to three minutes to go in our first match. There goes Barr again off those ropes. A shoulder tackle by Art Barr. Down goes Jackson. And this time it's Art Barr. He went outside, landed on the chair. He landed on Chris Colt's chair. And then he landed face first on the hard, cold concrete floor. And now, Chris Colt talking to Joey Jackson, who is uh, bleeding. His mouth is bleeding, Jackson is. But Art Barr is going to be very lucky if something... If, if he's not uh, sporting some blood on some part of his body down there. Art Barr really, really hitting that floor extremely hard, coming through the ropes, landing on the chair, and then the floor. And now Joey Jackson with a forearm smash across the chest of Barr and suplexes him in. He's got him, got it, both those shoulders down, and Barr... Wait a minute, Barr got his shoulder up. Besides, Joey Jackson had a hold of his tights. Joey Jackson had a hold of Art Barr's tights. The referee didn't see that, but I thought for sure that Art Barr got that shoulder up in time. He did. He did. The decision has been reversed. And the winner and still champion of our TV title is Art Barr. Now, don't go away because we're going to bring you up to date on our pro wrestling calendar for the coming week. So get your pencil and paper out. Get ready to take down all the information for the week of December 13th through the 19th. There we go. Starting tomorrow, the men will be in Finley, Washington at Riverview High School. Monday the 14th in Yakima, J.M. Perry Tech. Tuesday the 15th in Estacada at the high school in Estacada. Wednesday the 16th in Milwaukee at the high school. Thursday the 17th in Salem at the Armory starting at 8 o'clock. Friday the 18th of December in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds starting at 8. The Battle of the Giants, in fact, in Eugene. Saturday the 19th, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. And all kids admitted free here at the arena next Saturday night. Friday 
on Christmas Day, December the 25th, in Eugene with a big Christmas special that we'll be telling you more about a little bit later. We'll be right back with more right after this time out. Free is a very good price during our happy holiday sale at Tom Peterson's. Like a videotape of your youngster talking with Santa, free, nothing to buy. Or 52 free rental movies with any VCR, including this RCA video recorder at our lowest price ever, only $247. RCA VCR, only $247, and the 52 rental movies are free. That's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. Here it is, the top brand in electronics, RCA, a video recorder from RCA with remote, front load, cable ready, the works, how much? $247. When you buy that or any other VCR at Tom Peterson's, you get 52 movie rentals free. One a week for 52 weeks, only at Tom Peterson's. If you want a great VCR, RCA is the brand. There's the price, $247, wireless remote, don't miss it. If you're getting ready to hit the open road, make your first stop Gresham RV Center. Gresham RV is one of the Northwest's largest full-line RV dealers, with everything from campers, trucks, trailers, and fifth wheels, to a full line of 20-foot to 37-foot motorhomes. Plus, now you can see our new line of 88 Dolphin RVs just arrived. Come walk through these beautiful new units. And remember, when the deal is done, we're number one. Gresham RV Center, we've got the keys to great adventure at 242nd and Southeast Powell. Celebrate the magic of the holidays when one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time returns to television. I'm dreaming of a Christmas. Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye team up for music, romance, and holiday cheer. Merry Christmas! In the Irving Berlin masterpiece, White Christmas. Make this a holiday to remember with White Christmas, Sunday night at 5 on KPTV 12. All right, we have a lot of important information on our pro wrestling calendar for the coming week of December 13th through the 19th. A lot of things to tell you, so listen up. Starting tomorrow, we're going to be in Finlay at Riverview High School, 7 o'clock. Monday, the 14th in... Ye hey, 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 shut up for a minute. Hold on. Let's, le let's listen to the leader of the mafia. You people in the Pacific Northwest knows what's in here. I had a call from a mafiosa friend of mine in Chicago. On December 26th, right here is extravaganza here in Portland. Brother, my bodyguard, my number one hitman, the Avalanche, is going against you, Mike Miller. And it's the match that I like, but I don't like. I don't like the fact that I'm going to be in a cage because I'm no animal. But I have a lot of confidence in the Avalanche. Miller, after you get beat, I'm going to come out of that cage with my... Chris Colt cream, I'm going to put it on your hair, and I'm going to make you bald-headed, just like the Mafia leader Chris Colt has told you I'll do. I'll humiliate you, you're over the hill, you're all washed up, you're an old man, and now you're going to be bald-headed. I'm going to humiliate you and embarrass you right here in the Pacific Northwest, in front of everybody. And then, the King of Pain, the original rock and roll wrestler, the party animal, is going to take the cold cream, and the mafia, and dominate the complete Pacific Northwest. Miller, you'll be bald-headed as an eagle, and everybody will laugh at you. No one will ever laugh at Chris Colt. I'll see to it. I'm the leader of the mafia. Well, that's our pro wrestling calendar for the coming week. I don't know. We, uh, he interrupted this whole thing, so we're going we're gonna to have to uh, get through this thing. Uh, Monday the 14th, Yakima, J.M. Perry Tech. Tuesday the 15th, Estacada at the high school. A bull rope match in Estacada. Wednesday the 16th in Milwaukee at the high school. Thursday the 17th in Salem at the Armory. Friday the 18th in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds. A battle of the Giants, American Ninja versus Avalanche. Matt Bourne will be there. The Assassin will be there. Next Saturday, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. And all kids will be admitted free when accompanied by a paying adult next Saturday. Friday the 25th, Christmas Day in Eugene, that big Christmas special that he was talking about. Abuda Dean returns on Christmas Day. Abuda Dean will be here on Saturday the 26th of December, and that's going to be a big, big extravaganza right here at the Portland Sports Arena. We'll have to tell you more about everything a little bit later. We'll be right back with more after this timeout.
It's our happy holiday sale with free gifts for you. Buy any color TV in our store and get this GE clock radio free. Remote color TVs on sale. RCA 19-inch remote color TV, $297. 13-inch remote color TV, $197. Zenith 25-inch remote color TV, $397. GE 25-inch remote stereo color television, $497. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. Colored TVs at Tom Peterson's, we have them. A great brand name here, RCA. RCA 19-inch remote color television. And when you buy that television or any TV at Tom Peterson's, you, color TV, you get this free GE clock radio. $297, that's a television, it's a remote, it's RCA, and you get a free clock radio. There's only one place to buy a colored television tomorrow, and you know where that is. That's at Tom Peterson's 82nd and Foster Road. You'll be amazed to see who's shopping pay and pack for gift ideas this holiday season. Students will love this flexible desk lamp with organizer base just $9.99. For the do-it-yourself or a Stanley 25-foot tape measure, $6.99. Or a Lifesaver smoke alarm with battery just $4.49. This holiday season... Fiction, we're waiting! Once you've tried the pack, you'll be back. Oh, I'll be back! <laughs> daughter, daughter, fix the... Shop the International Marketplace, Sandy Bar's Flea Market, the largest weekly flea market in the Northwest. Open Saturdays and Sundays. Find great prices on new and used television, stereos, clothes, shoes, hand and power tools, plus antiques and homemade crafts. It's all here. Sandy Bar's Flea Market, two large locations side by side, 8501 and 8725 North Chautauqua. Doors open at 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Free coffee in admission is only 50 cents. We are back, and so is Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne will be making his way through the crowd. You know, there's an expression, are, are, are you for real or are you blowing smoke? Well, Chris Colt is blowing smoke, and, he, and I apologize for his interruption of our, of our uh, menu board there that we were trying to, we we're trying to give you all the information on the towns. We'll try to catch you up to date on all that in just a little bit. Here's Matt Bourne being escorted to the ring by his father, Tony Bourne. Oh, there's a legend right there, folks. And, uh, I'm the only manager in the Pacific Northwest. Get, get Tony Bourne out of here right here. He's not a licensed manager, Donald. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, 425 pounds from Nebraska, the Avalanche. His opponent in this corner that just flew up from Texas, where he is the Texas state champion. Our own local from, boy from Portland, 245 pounds, Matt Bourne. And and his manager, Tough Tony Bourne. Oh, is he looking good or what, huh? Matt Bourne, returning uh, home for the first time in a long time. <laughs> his, I tell you, his old man's looking good, too. Tough Tony Bourne, leaving the ring right now. I think Matt's going to need uh, his dad, Tough Tony, at ringside, as long as Chris Colt's going to be at ringside for Avalanche. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be well, some kind of a match. This would be a main event anywhere in the world. And we've got it right here at the Portland Sports Arena. And you're seeing it on television. Oh, baby. This is going to be something. Sandy Barr, of course, the referee. I have just been handed a note from uh, Barry Owen that says next Saturday night, not only will the kids get in free, but... This, these matches have already been signed. Listen to this. For next Saturday night, Rip Oliver is going to fight the American Ninja. Next Saturday night, the Avalanche is going to fight the Assassin. I wonder if Avalanche knows that. It's going to be Avalanche and Assassin, Rip Oliver against the American Ninja next Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena. You'd better make those plans right now. Let me give you a phone number to call. 289-4222. That's the number to call to reserve your tickets to next Saturday night's matches. In fact, you can uh, pick up your tickets 
tomorrow if you want sandy bars flea market right out here at the portland sports arena or right across the parking lot at his building over there but whatever you do whether you get your tickets in person tomorrow or whether you call in and reserve them be here next saturday night forearm smashed by avalanche there goes matt Bourne in that other turnbuckle hall man the whole ring moves there goes avalanche oh man he just powered into matt Bourne. he drove that he drove that big knee of his if he weighs 450, the knee's got to be about 100 a quarter, right in to the middle of Matt Bourne. And now he's got Matt Bourne again into that other turnbuckle, throws him in. It. Here comes Avalanche again like a big train, and wham! Ah, oh, he got derailed as he hit that turnbuckle. Avalanche did. Here comes Matt Bourne, a hard smash across the chest, another hard smash. Avalanche is reeling. He's rocking and reeling, and a clothesline takes him down. And Matt Bourne is rolling. And his dad is cheering from the, from the ringside. Why is this place electrified? Matt Bourne taking a beating at first from Avalanche, but then comes back in, in typical Matt Bourne style and lays Avalanche out with a hard clothesline, and then Avalanche just rolled out of the ring. When Avalanche rolls across that ring, the entire ring moves. I mean, you can see it. The ring kind of rocks and rolls. There's not a whole lot that Chris Cold is going to, oh no, uh, that's going to be tough to do, uh, Matt. Nobody's been able to uh, pick Avalanche up yet. Matt Bourne, no exception. And he takes a body slam for it. Chris Cold at ringside in Avalanche's corner. Tony Bourne at ringside in Matt Bourne's corner. I have a feeling that Tony is going to be able to keep a pretty good eye on Chris Colt, and maybe Colt won't get away with all this stuff that he usually does during these these matches, as you saw during the last match, with all that distraction and all the interference that he really does during a match. Avalanche grabs the hair, and down goes Matt Bourne, Tony Bourne, yelling at referee Sandy Barr, telling me exactly what happened. And now Avalanche plants a big boot right in the middle of uh, Bourne's back and there goes Matt Bourne into the ropes coming off the ropes and he's he's caught in midair with a bear hug from a bear yeah Avalanche has got Matt Bourne in that bear hug of his forcing the air right out of the lungs Bourne trying to catch his breath but Avalanche Avalanche has got him Bourne trying to force his way out of the grasp of the avalanche. And boy, that did it. A left-handed shot right in the face by Matt Bourne. That broke that hold, and there he goes again. He's right back where he started. Bourne backed into that turnbuckle, and again, the entire ring moved. And now avalanche working on Bourne with the knees. There goes a oh, reversal whip into the turnbuckle. Goes avalanche. And a hard left hand smash by Bourne. Another hard left hand smash. Boy, that caught Avalanche right on the jaw. And now Bourne just one right after another right underneath the ear. And there's Chris Colt. And he's got a hold of Matt Bourne. Here comes Tony Bourne. And I don't think you'd want to stick around and let Tony Bourne catch up with you. Uh-uh. He may have a few years on Chris Colt, but I think now, see, Tony Bourne reaches in and grabs Avalanche. And he fights fire with fire. And Matt Bourne has got him. Yes, sir. Oh, a little teamwork, huh? Keeping it in the family. Now, that's real family ties right there. Matt Bourne, the winner over Avalanche with a little help from his dad. And all his dad did <laughs> was exactly the same thing that Colt was trying to do. Oh, baby. Matt Bourne, a triumphant return to Portland. And we will be back right after we have a word from our good friend here, Mr. Tom Peterson. Tom, take it away. Let me tell you about a great buy tomorrow. A video camera. Where at Tom Peterson's? You see the brand name right here, video. Tomorrow in the Oregonian and the Columbian, this 16-page insert with a lot of great camera buys in it. And you can save from 100 to 200 to as much as $300 on a video camera tomorrow at Tom Peterson's. Now here's a wrestling special. 
it's priced at three at four hundred and ninety five dollars in the newspaper in the insert your price on wrestling is four hundred and seventy six when you buy it that's not all you get three free blank videotapes with his VHSC camera plus you get a free case everything at Tom Peterson's there's only one place to buy a video recorder and there's really only one brand to buy Zenith there's the price four hundred and seventy six dollars remember you won't get the case unless you ask for it it's a wrestling special be gone from here and take your infernal Merry Christmas with you. Screw. I hate people. He's back with a haunting cast of holiday spirits. Merry Christmas. And some unexpected guests. Beware. Who offer a chilling look into what would be his own future. You shall see a change in me, Jacob, I swear. Albert Finney and Anna Givis in Charles Dickens' classic, Screw. The Chilling Tale comes to life Tuesday night at 8 on KPTB 12. We interrupt this call to bring you this important message. Introducing new NyQuil cherry flavor. Now people of all tastes can relieve their colds at night. New NyQuil cherry flavor. NyQuil relief. Cherry taste. Feel like I'm standing in the middle of the Hall of Fame. Tony Bourne, Matt Bourne, the assassin. You know, Don Cass, when we talk about Death Savage giving me the coal miner's glove last Saturday night, the glove of justice is sticking with the assassin, okay? Now, Sunday, we're in Finley, Washington. I want everybody in the Tri-City to come to Finley, okay? Tuesday night, Estacada. Big bull rope match, me and the grappler, brother. Besides this tag bull rope here tonight that nobody's going to see because it ain't going to be on TV, it's going to be me and the grappler and Estacada in a big bull rope match. Then Wednesday, Milwaukee, Oregon, brother. Milwaukee High School going to be set on fire, Jack. Thursday night, Salem Armory. We're going to tag team there. Big tag team match. Friday night, Eugene. Big, big tag team match there. Next Saturday night, back at the Portland Sports Arena. Kids in free, brother. Next Saturday night. Now, Matt Bourne, Jack. <laughs> hey, wait. I know. No, wait. I know what you're going to say, but before you do, that I felt a lot of mixed, motion, mixed motion, emotions tonight of, towards Matt Bourne, and that's with good reason. You see, I'm not getting any younger, and I realized that all the things I was doing, I was doing for the wrong reason, and I was using wrong means. Now, you can take it for what it's worth, but I realize now Oregon is my home, and all the people that have watched me grow in this profession are out there and you've seen me do good things and you've just seen me do bad things and believe me I am not proud of all the things I've done sometimes I got up in the morning and looked myself in the mirror I didn't like myself but Matt Bourne is changing Matt Bourne is doing it for you people Matt Bourne is doing it for himself and next Saturday night I got the match I just beat that man out there that 400 plus pound man and I got the match next Saturday night for the Northwest Heavyweight Championship, it's you, the grappler, the champion, against me, the maniac, Matt Bourne. Your butt's mine. Hey, hey, Matt Bourne, so I can count on you on Thursday night in Salem and Friday night in Eugene to be my partner against Rip the Crippler Ooh, Oliver oh, and Jack. the grappler. All right, Jack. Right. All right, you're done. Wednesday, we got a lot of good wrestling in the st all over the state this week, but Wednesday night in particular, a big card at Milwaukee High School to raise money for the baseball team out there. Uh, Milwaukee, in addition to putting out good wrestlers, also puts out some pretty good baseball players. Headlining this card will be two Milwaukee graduates, one I know very well, my son here, who graduated in 75, and another one, an outstanding athlete, a fantastic football player, Wayne Bergstrom is going to be my son's tag team partner. I think it's the first time anywhere in this country the two graduates from the same school headline a card, a main event on a card. And I, I'd like for all you people in Milwaukee to turn out and help support this thing because it's for the community out there, and I'm all for it. And we want to make sure that everybody knows that that starts at 7.30. All starts at 7.30. All week. 
Milwaukee, Salem, Eugene, and here Portland next Saturday night. Put your face in the plate, because we're going to be there, Daddy. All right. Assassin, Matt, Tony, it's good to see you again, partner. Thank you. Boy, Tony. it's great to be up here with a legend. I'll tell you. Speaking of legend, we're going to turn things over now to our good friend, Tom Peterson. Tom? Tomorrow is a big day, only 12 days left until Christmas. This circular will be in the Oregonian and the Columbian. 12 days left till Christmas. I want to tell you about some great recliners we have at Tom Peterson's. Here's one. It heats, it vibrates, and the price is only $299. Now, we're not going to have many of these left, and chances are before the week is up, they're all going to be gone. $299. Herculon, made by the Lane Action people, the same people that make the Lane Cedar Chest. It's a great unit. And when you open up this circular right here and turn to the furniture, right on the front page it's featured. $299. And when you buy that, you not only get the chair, let me show what else you get. You get a Tom's Happy Bear. Tom's Happy Bear comes with every recliner. If you've been thinking about a recliner that's only 12 days of Christmas, will deliver Christmas Eve day, don't miss the buy. It's a great buy. $299 only at Tom Peterson. Today in Music History, brought to you by the Remington Microscreen Ultimate Shaver with exclusive beard lifter. The famine in Africa was more than Bob Geldof could tolerate, so he inspired 36 of Britain's top rockers to unite and form Band-Aid. Their plea to feed the world raised over $10 million and produced the fastest-selling single in British history. Do They Know It's Christmas by Band-Aid was released today, December 12, 1984. Announcing a dramatic breakthrough in shaving technology. The new Remington Microscreen Ultimate shaves as close as a blade and closer than any other electric shaver or your money back. The Ultimate's exclusive beard lifter gets whiskers other shavers leave behind. And like all Remington Microscreen shavers, the first screen shaves incredibly close, the second even closer. Try the new Remington Ultimate now. It will shave you as close as a blade and closer than any other electric shaver or your money back. You can just feel the electricity of the Portland Sports Arena, the return of Matt Bourne. You will see Matt Bourne here next Saturday night in person, in action. And what action? He's got the grappler. The grappler next Saturday night here at the Portland Sports Arena in a title match. Now, according to Matt Bourne, that has been signed. It has been agreed to, possibly not by the grappler, but uh, that one, uh, it's going to happen next Saturday night. We've got Matt Bourne against the grappler for the title. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that next Saturday night we're inviting all the children in the vicinity for can see the come in and see the rustling bouts absolutely free of charge. So kids get up a party and come down and see a big card, one of the best in the country. The next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner 200 and 36 pounds from the South Pacific, Coco Samoa. His opponent in this corner, 242 pounds from Texas, Scott Peterson. This should be a good match. Should be a good clean match anyway. And that doesn't mean it won't be exciting when you've got Coco Samoa in the ring and uh, Scott Peterson in the ring. It's going to be exciting. Referee Sandy Barr in there next Saturday night. Oh, uh, we're talking about Rip Oliver, and he's just coming into the crow's nest right now. Rip Oliver has got the American Ninja. Avalanche has got the Assassin. And Matt Bourne has got the Grappler. Rip Oliver, we're just talking about next Saturday night. Looks like uh, you've got American Ninja. Yeah, Don Koss, you know, I had American Ninja last Saturday night right here. I was out in the center of the ring. Beautiful robe bone, looking good as always. And, uh, you know, they come out and said American Ninja was sick. So what they do, they said, mean Mike Miller out there. I had the match side with American Ninja, not mean Mike Miller. I was all psyched up to put this big man right on out of his career. Like I said, I come in here to clean up. And starting out cleaning up with a size of American Ninja, mean Mike Miller, and now Matt Bourne's in here. Well, it's cleaning up is what Oliver's here to do, Don Koss, and next Saturday night, American Ninja. I've seen fear in your eyes, boy, when you've seen me in the ring before. 
I can see the fear in your eyes. You're scared of Rip the Cripper Oliver. And that proved it last Saturday night right here when you didn't get the ring with me. Now, what do you think about that, Don Gus? Last Saturday night, uh, we got the report from the doctor, Rip. The man was running a fever of 103 I've heard of degrees. Kind of stuff before. I've heard of uh, reports from doctors and this kind of stuff before. But like I say, I've seen the fear in the man's eyes. I think myself that Brian Adams, the American Ninja, is too yellow to get the ring with Rip the Cripper Oliver. I signed one contract, now I've signed another one. All he's got to do next Saturday night is get in the ring with me, right out here in the middle of that squared circle, and I'm going to take the man and do just exactly what I said I was going to do last week, and that's get rid of him. I'm going to take him and beat him, and they can haul him out here in an ambulance or whatever they want. I come here for one reason. Like I said, the grappler called me and told me what was coming down out here, and I can see Matt Bourne's back, Assassin's back, me and Mike Miller, Coco some more, Scott Peterson, Steve Dahl. You go right on down the line with all of them, you know. But where it's all coming down, it seems like all this thing that used to be ahead at one time with Matt Bourne, Assassin, Rip the Cripper Oliver, is all coming back down. But I have one advantage this time. I've got the, uh, the grappler on my corner, you know, saying uh, Eugene Friday, we've got the grappler and uh, myself versus Assassin and, and uh, Matt Bourne. Well, that's all going to come down Friday night in Eugene, Thursday. We're going to be all over this week, all, all these towns, Estacada, Milwaukee. We're going all over the Northwest, you know. And uh, right here next Saturday night is where I'm going to cripple my first opponent back in the Northwest since I've been made my return here. I've got to prove to all the people that the crippler knows what he's talking about and he knows what he's doing. And by going out there and snapping a finger, snapping an arm, snapping a leg, whatever, that proves the crippler hadn't lost his touch, brother. And they can put him on the Rips carryout service and haul him out, put him on the ambulance and carry him on off. And uh, the boy's career will be ended, is all I got to say. Well, I think what everybody is really curious about, Rip, is are you going to be doing this by yourself, or are you once again going to be calling in the grappler or the avalanche or Chris Colt for interference? You know, I was the leader of the clan out here for years, and I went on to doing, I'm an independent wrestler now. I don't need no clan. All I am is out as a hit man. I'm a cleanup man. They call me cleanup man all over the world now, Japan, Puerto Rico, all over the United States, everywhere I go. They put I'm against top opponents. That's the reason why I'm back here, because Matt Bourne's back, Assassin's back. you got all these guys out here coming in, and I, do, I know just what the grappler's going through with all these people coming in because he is a champion. You know, you got Chris Coat with his mafia. He, you know, he's got the haircut. You got everything's going on right here in the Northwest. I don't have to search all over the world to find it. I got the top competition right out here in the middle of this ring, just as well as the Madison Square Gardens back in New York. I don't have to go there to get it. I got it right here. Anywhere they want the cleanup, man, they call the Cripper. And maybe the Cripper does what he does best. That's why I live the way I do. That's why I make the money I do, because I do what I say I'm going to do. And Brian Adams, next Saturday night, brother, you're going to have a short career here in the Northwest. I'm going to cripple you up. As we're talking about a lot of things happening next week and next Saturday night, but we got to get by tonight first. And tonight, you've got one of the most important matches of your career. we got this bull rope match, you and uh, Grappler teaming up. You're right, 100 percent. you got to go uh, take one step at a time. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this match. Nobody's really ready for a bull rope match when you get in the head, hit in the head with a brass cowbell or being strapped with a big leather rope, big, big, uh, you know, big bull rope. You got all this stuff, you got four in the ring at one time. Somebody can get their teeth knocked out, get their nose cut off, or whatever these big brass bull ropes. But it will not be on TV. These people sitting at home eat your heart out, because you're, you're not going to get to see the Crippler do something to mean Mike Miller, the assassin, that I would like for everybody in TV land to see, and that's hurt one of them boys, too. Yeah, we were talking a little earlier about the, uh, in the future, the things that are going to be happening, especially on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day and yeah. the day after Christmas. Uh, your old buddy Abuda Dean's coming back in. Abuda Dean, you know, everybody's, Abuda Dean's no stranger here to the Northwest. He's been around. He's a good friend of mine, and I'm glad to hear the word that he'll be back in here Christmas Day down in Eugene at the Lane County Fairground. You know, this stipulation, I said I wanted to match against Assassin in a cage, and I would take his mask off in Eugene on Christmas Day. That's going to be the Christmas present for Rip Oliver. And then they turn right around, they come up here on TV and tell everybody that my hair is on the line. Well, I said you, a long time ago, and you heard me say it standing right up here, that I'd never put my hair on the line again, but I would take and take Assassin's mask off. I'll shave someone's head or whatever. But now they say Rip Oliver's hair is on the line, so that makes a bigger stake to go through. If Assassin lasts till the Christmas Day, I'll take his mask off right in a cage in Eugene, and I'll tell you what, when I take it off, he's going to be a crimson mess. He's going to be a, a bloody mess, and when they, people come up to carry him out of the ring, they'll carry him out of the ring with his mask off, and Rip Cripper Oliver will still leave with his beautiful blonde hair, just like I've had for over 14 years. Well, that remains to be seen, and they'll see it on Christmas Day. 
Uh, we're we're going to have a major league extravaganza on Christmas Day in Eugene. We're going to follow that with a uh, big spectacular here at the sports arena on uh, on the 26th. It is right here on the 26th, the big after Christmas show. It's all over the Northwest. It's all, you know, wrestling right now is at its peak for all the wrestling fans watching all over the world. You're looking at the best wrestlers right out here are just as good. You've got top talent all over the world. But these wrestlers right here, just like this guy, Peter Coco Samoa, out there to do it a scientific match. Well, the guys can wrestle, they can fight, they can do whatever they got to do to survive. And what this is, is a survival series. And when Rip the Crippler Oliver gets in the ring with a man, Rip the Crippler Oliver is going to survive the best, that any, the only way he knows how, and that's to beat a man down, bite his nose off whatever I got to do, Don, because I don't care. Matt Bourne, you know me, me and you, boy, we've been in that ring out there a lot of time, partners and against each other. And I know you are no pushover, and you know I'm no pushover. So next uh, Friday night in Eugene, and out at Salem Thursday, you want to come down over the assassin, you're hanging with the wrong crowd. You're hanging with trash. You're hanging with a yellow egg-sucking dog. That's what he always called me. But assassin, you know good and well, boy. How's your mama living? She's still living on welfare? Or she got her place back yet? You know, you caused her to lose her own home. You, I, I, she probably still ain't speaking to you. Well, I think uh, the assassin has a little different uh, uh, interpretation of that story there, Rip Oliver. And I think everybody well, I in town, everybody has heard about that. Yeah. And... Uh, the thing is that this entire Northwest right now is exploding. Every match you see out here is a main event. and can be a main event anywhere. Like you said, Madison Square Garden, anywhere in the world. Cal Palace, Cal Palace, you name it, San Diego, all over. The guys right here are just as tough. Like, I mean, anywhere you go, you've got wrestlers, and you've got, uh, nowadays, 1987, going on 1988, you've got bigger and tougher competition. I, I know I went out and I experienced the wrestling world. I was out here for a long time, but I got out and I experienced it and seen the different wrestlers, the top competition that's all over the world. And I've had my head beat in right here in this arena as much as I have anywhere else. But I'll tell you what, everyone's asking the crippler, what are you doing? Why are you back here? You're going to get your clan back. I don't need my clan. All I'm here is for one thing, and that's to clean up. And as far as Assassin, Matt Bourne, Brian Adams, American Ninja, stuff like this is what Rip the Cleanup Man's all about. That's coming back in, and that's why I wear the crippler across the back of my tights. American Ninja, I know he had to check my record, and with all the win and loss records of mine, and seeing all the, all the professional athletes that I put out of professional wrestling, they've carried out on stretches and stuff. That's why the boys got fear in his life. Now, I know there's people paid. They're going to pay to come back this boy up against me. Well, he's six foot six, what, three, over 300 pounds, whatever. He's a big man. I don't take that from him. He's uh, got a lot of martial arts. He's, I understand he used to box, everything. You know, the, the guy is an athlete, but you're, you're, he's going in against a veteran, Rip the Crippler Oliver, and Rip the Crippler Oliver is going to leave him laying right in the middle of that ring next Saturday night. Well, Rip, a uh, little reminder here. He's, he also went in against a veteran in the form of Super Ninja. Super Ninja isn't here anymore. Well, gosh, you can't tell me nothing about Super Ninja. I was the one that brought the man in as a personal bodyguard to me. You remember that back when I brought him in to being part of my clan. Well, Super Ninja is a tough man. He is one of the top. Brian Adams may have pulled a slick one. He might have got by. I didn't just see the situation, but he managed to get by with the situation and, and still survive without a broke arm or broke leg or uh, swallowing his windpipe or something like that. So, Brian Adams, like I said, you are a tough man. I've watched you. I've checked you all over. I don't go in the ring unless I check a man out, you know. I got to check the opponent out, check his win and loss record, check how many people he's crippled up. And then when I stare him straight in the eye, I see him start to shake in his boots. And I seen that shake in Brian Adams' boots last week. All over, all over his northwest, down in Medford, Salem, all over. I see him when I stare at the man. You can see that little bit of twilk, twinkle in his eye. You know, he's acting like you see the fear. I've seen the fear in a lot of guys' eyes before. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take the fear out of his eye right here next week. He won't have to worry about Rip Oliver no more because his career will be ended right here next Saturday night. Brian Adams has been asking for this match. He wants this match with you, Rip. He and and he would have been here last week if the doctor if the doctor hadn't told him. Rip Oliver said he was going to be here. I was in the ring. Now, I ain't never let no fever stop me from getting in the ring. I never let no broke ribs stop me from getting in the ring. And that's damn sure one thing for Rip Oliver can say, I'm going to be there next Saturday night. And Brian Adams, I don't care what excuse you come up with, it ain't going to be good enough. Because if I have to, I'm going to come in the dressing room, I'm going to drag you out. If I have to come to where you're living and drag you out, I'm going to do what I told the people in the Northwest. I'm going to do what I told the grappler, the Northwest heavyweight champion, I was going to do. Now, you see Matt Borg come out here last match. He's up here with an American uh, with a Avalanche. 
he got a win over him by his dad pulling the leg. But next week, Matt Bourne, you're not going to get by that easy with a grappler, brother. He's going to clean your clock, too. That's it, dog. All right, Rip Oliver. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Rip Oliver leaving the crow's nest now. Next week, it will be Rip Oliver and American Ninja. And we have battled to a draw, Coco Samoa and Scott Peterson. We'll be back with more right after this timeout. It's our happy holiday sale with free gifts for you. Buy this ABS system, only $7.99. Includes color television, audio system, VCR, everything, only $34 a month. Plus these free gifts for you. Free GE clock radio, free cassette tapes, free 52 movie rentals. Now that's Tom Peterson, the happy place to buy. It's worth the trip. it all for you. Bob Frank Chevrolet, Bob Frank Nissan, Bob Frank Mitsubishi. Outstanding selection, flexible financing, award-winning sales and service. Bob Frank Hyundai, Bob Frank Suzuki. Bob Frank, we have it all for you. Why is this man being so unfair to his wife? Enjoying his cold relief while she suffers, feeling no desire to sneeze while she stifles hers, without all the coughs and the runny nose that torture her night, resting in the same bed where she tosses and turns. Why? Because while she took a cold tablet, he took NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Now a new cherry flavor, too. If you're getting ready to hit the open road, make your first stop Gresham RV Center. Gresham RV is one of the Northwest's largest full-line RV dealers, with everything from campers, trucks, trailers, and fifth wheels, to a full line of 20-foot to 37-foot motorhomes. Plus, now you can see our new line of 88 Dolphin RVs just arrived. Come walk through these beautiful new units. And remember, when the deal is done, we're number one. Gresham RV Center. We've got the keys to great adventure at 242nd and Southeast Powell. Well, the Mafia took roll call, and everybody's here, and the grappler is here. I want to tell all the people one thing. I want to tell Matt Bourne and his old man, his old daddy, that's living on his past reputation, one thing right now. He got up here and said he beat the avalanche, one, two, three, right in the middle, and everybody knows it took his old man's help before he could do it. Now he says he's got a shot at the Northwest heavyweight title and the grappler. Well, let me tell you one thing. Right now, Matt Bourne and Tony Bourne, before I lose this Northwest heavyweight title, boy, somebody's going to get hurt real, real bad. And there's no way on God's green earth, Jack, Matt Bourne, that you're going to take it away from me next Saturday night. Now, I want to tell you one more thing, Don, because, you know, last week, Dutch Savage came out here and he gave that glove, that coal miner's glove, to the assassin. But, brother, I told you I'd do something about it, right? Well, I went to my lawyers, and I got an injunction, brother, and I got all the papers drawn up. And I put him on Barry Owens' desk and Don Owens' desk. And that coal miner's glove can't be out in any match, in any match, unless it's sanctioned, Jack, to come in that ring or be in that match. So I'll put a stop to that, brother. <laughs> I hope you're listening, Dutch Savage, you old man. I told you I'd do something about it. Never doubt the grappler. So in the bull row match tonight, that glove will not be out there, Jack. And far as you go, Matt Bourne, beat me if you can. You got the ticket, Grap. It's the Mafia roll call again. We're all here. We're all ready to go. Here. I'm here. Jackson Avalanche, Coast Mafia, the leader right here. Listen, I want to show you people the potency of the Mafiosa cream sent to me by my Mafiosa friend in Chicago. It's the cold cream. Ed Moretti, Moondog, I want to show you people something right now. Take your jacket off. I did this once before. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to Mike Miller's hair after the avalanche Adam, beats Adam. him on the 26th. Yes. Take off your jacket so I can show everybody right here, here exactly right what on. the mafiosa cream is all about. This is the potency of it. It only takes about five seconds to show you people. It smells like dirty sharks, but it works. That's I'm telling you that The right potency now. of it. Five. Watch this. There's gonna be a Let's get a cloak. Can you see that? It took every bit of hair on his forearm off. There's gonna be a lot of ball-hitting geeks around here. 
You're going to see Mike Miller without any hair right here in Portland on the 26th on Saturday night. I personally guarantee and put close Cole's reputation with the Mafia on the line. Miller, it's over for you. I want to say one thing. We have a new Mafia member on the 25th in Eugene at that extravaganza, and that's the great Sheikah Boudadeen, a good friend of mine. And one more thing. Next Saturday night, the Avalanche is going to have a warm-up match against the Assassin, who was one great wrestler. Assassin, you'll go down. It's going to be a warm-up match for you, Mike Miller, because the Avalanche is going to avalanche you, and we're going to take your hair off. Come to December 26th, watch the Mafia rise and rule again. Order some wigs! Oh, <laughs> oh that stuff is... Uh is is potent there's no doubt about it we're going to go back out the ring for more action from the portland sports arena i don't know were you able to get a good shot of the of the forearm of uh, moon dog it took every bit of hair there on his arm off and he had a lot of hair on his arm Whoa! as uh, as effective as that is it is extremely well a skunk smell better than what that stuff is i have no idea what's in there i don't even want it on and they uh well, you can smell that thing, that stuff coming from a mile away. Well, out in the uh, arena right now, there is Chris Colt. And there is Moondog Moretti. Not quite as hairy as he was before. They're showing off his hairless forearm. Well, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Uh, and Don Owen in there to make the announcement of our next match. Ladies and gentlemen. Smell that, Doc. Smell that. You smell that? What's that on there? Yeah. Got to be fined for that. The next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 246 pounds from Idaho, Moondog Moretti. His opponent in this corner, 310 pounds, the American Ninja. And our referee is once again NWA ref. Er referee Sandy Barb American Ninja Brian Adams last week he was extremely ill very ill running a high fever for quite a few days was not able to uh, to fight Rip Oliver last Saturday night but he is ready now and he certainly will be ready next Saturday night to meet Mr. Oliver in the middle of the ring before we get started a little reminder here that uh, next Saturday night with all these other things that will be going on here at the Portland Sports Arena, and the fact that kids kids are admitted free when accompanied by paying adults, we're going to have a food basket donation down here. There'll be a food basket supplied by F and J Raven, American Legion Post 134, Christmas baskets for the needy. So if you uh, want to make a donation, come on down, and we'll have the basket here. You can put uh, you can put some food in there, some money, whatever. But the food basket will be here next Saturday night. And it's all for a good cause to help donate food to needy families this Christmas season. Well, down goes Avalanche. The hands of American Ninja. Look at the size of that guy. American Ninja, Brian Adams. He is just a huge human being. Over 300 pounds. He's about six foot seven. A master of the martial arts. He is the man responsible for the departure of Super Ninja. Super Ninja is in the Northwest no more, thanks to American Ninja. That's the man that Rip Oliver is going to battle next Saturday night. Next Saturday night, man, oh man, Avalanche has got the assassin. Or should we say the assassin has got Avalanche. And the big news, of course, well, there's big news right there. But the title news is Matt Bourne will be here next Saturday night to take on the Grappler in a title match. Matt Bourne versus the Grappler in a title match next Saturday night. You, you need that phone number again. 289-4222. Reserve your tickets for next Saturday night. Don't miss out. We have got so much action throughout the entire Northwest. Tomorrow, on the, on the 13th of December in Finley, the 14th in Yakima, the 15th in Estacada, the 16th in Milwaukee at the high school. You heard tough Tony Bourne talking about that a little earlier. 
By the way, that match in Milwaukee does start at 7.30. Salem on the 17th, the Armory. The Battle of the Giants in Eugene on December the 18th, Friday, at the fairgrounds, Lane County Fairgrounds. American Ninja versus Avalanche. Matt Bourne, the Assassin, are going to team up in a match. On Christmas night, Friday, December the 25th, in Eugene. Boy, what an extravaganza they're going to have there. Abuda Dean will return. Rip Oliver is going to be involved in a match with his hair on the line. That's right. And the, uh, he'll be battling the assassin, and the assassin's hood will be on the line. On December the 26th, Saturday, we're going to have another extravaganza right here at the Portland Sports Arena. Abuda Dean will be here for that one. Oh, this whole place is just rumbling. It's a powder keg. Out goes Avalanche, or Avalanche. Out goes Moondog <laughs> Moretti. Well, he looks a little bit like Avalanche, parts of his body anyway. And well, he went over that top rope, landed on his feet on the floor, shaking the cobwebs out of his head. Things are really, it just it kind of feels like Mount St. Helens around here. Things are just erupting and getting ready to erupt even bigger. Abuda Dean coming in. Matt Bourne already here. Rip Oliver here, of course. Extravaganzas on the 25th and the 26th. Look at that body slam by American Ninja on Moretti. Leg drop across the chest. Here comes another leg drop across the mat. That wasn't exactly what he had in mind. He actually elbowed the mat as Moondog moved out of the roll out of the way. And now it's Moretti. Oh, man, he drove a thumb right into the left eye of Brian Adams. I mean, that it went right into the eye. Oh, my word. That I tell you, Moretti, he, he does. He fights like he really belongs in that mafia. It, that has got to, that, that had to temporarily blind Brian Adams. And now Moretti biting on the forehead of the American Ninja, Brian Adams. And he just drags him across that top rope, burns him across that top rope. Got some other information here about another tremendous card going to be held on Saturday, January the 2nd. The day after New Year's, of course, so don't miss that big card. Now, here's an another thing, too, we really need to remind you about a number of times is that the match on Saturday, December the 26th, the day after Christmas, will not be on television. We will not be on TV that night. It's going to be preempted. So when you're making your plans to come on down here to the sports arena, you better put Saturday, December 26th on your list there. You don't want to miss all that action that's going to be happening for the Buddha Dean here and everybody else. That's got that entire extravaganza that they're planning for Saturday, the December the 26th. There will be no TV. Oh, Moretti comes down and drives a fist into the mat. As, and, in, and as American Ninja with a mule kick and an elbow drop across the chest going for the pin. One, two. Oh, he's got Moretti hooked in. Good, and he's got him. He pins him. American, wait a minute, here, oh, here comes Rip Oliver, here comes the grappler, and they're attacking Brian Adams, American Ninja, and now look at this, grappler is loading that boot, Rip Oliver is holding Brian Adams, and grappler drives the boot into the solar plexus, here comes the assassin, assassin to the rescue, and he's got the cowbell, oh, is he ringing some bells out there, Draw. he really laid that bell right inside the head of Rip Oliver, and uh, it's the assassin, he's got grappler. Assassin is loading his hood. Assassin loading a hood. A headbutt grappler is down. And the assassin is going after that boot of the grappler. He's unlacing the boot. We may see exactly what's inside that boot. We may see how just orthopedic that boot is. Oh, now this is really exciting. The crowd is on their feet. People are going crazy here. And so is the grappler. Rip Oliver trying to grab him and pull him out of the ring, but Assassin has got a hold of that boot. He's got the boot off. Assassin has got the boot off. The boot, and uh, the grappler is heading back to the dressing room. Assassin has got the boot. And he's holding it up like a trophy. As, as he certainly should. Well, that is a trophy. The American Ninja, Brian Adams, is the winner of the match. 
by disqualification. Well, not by disqualification. He beat him fair and square. And then we had we had interference. Assassin is coming up to the crow's nest with the boot. We'll have an interview with the assassin right after this. Don't go away. Free is a very good price during our happy holiday sale at Tom Peterson. Like a videotape of your youngster talking with Santa, free, nothing to buy. Or a free swivel rocker with a purchase of any sofa and love seat or sectional. Your choice, only $42 a month. Choose a sofa and love seat with four incliners or this corner sectional with incliner and queen-size sleeper, or this sectional with two incliners. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. You can make your daughter day her tomorrow bright. Time is all it takes to make her life seem right. You can make your sun shine with a word or two. You'll see your dream. Sunday on Married with Children. The Bundy's pooch is romancing the neighborhood. My dog's been soiled, Bundy. Just woof, woof, thank you, ma'am. Then Tracy Ullman's an instant winner. <coughs> A dream vacation to Atlantic City. I hear that it's the Liverpool of America. On duets, Ben's got a fatal attraction. I'm here to cut you loose. Like he's never seen. Hey, Ben, what are you doing hey, Rich, here? Come on, let's go. It's an emergency. We gotta go to the movies. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. Sunday at 9.30 on TV 12. Coming to television for the first time, completely uncut, the Academy Award-winning Amadeus. Coming December 16th, only on KPTV 12. Assassin, you just created, you just created a shockwave. John Cash, I loaded this boot, and there's definitely a pizza still in here. Listen to this. You listen to it, Jack. Hey, let me tell you something, Grappler. Grappler is up here. Rip Oliver. And he made off with the boot, and the assassin is is down. Is are you bleeding? Oh, we're crying out loud! Right in the middle of, a, of an interview, we had the boot up here. Assassin had the boot. He found some steel in the boot. It just about annihilated the desk here. Are you are you all right, assassin? Rip Oliver and Grappler came up behind you. You boy, you didn't see it coming. They hit you like a truck. Uh. There was definitely, there was definitely a piece of steel in that boot, man. Here comes Mike. Hitler. Definitely, man. Mike, did you see all that? Hey, I've been standing back there. I saw that. I don't know what's going on here. Hey, John, I have one thing to say, assassin. Those two know there is not to be any fighting up here in the crow's nest. I am going to fine them $1,000 a piece for what they just came up here and did. And a lot of you, you heard what he was up here talking about. You couldn't use the glove. He got his lawyers together. That's right. He did have it on my desk. If it's got to be stipulated to be able to have that glove anywhere near the ring. Okay? I got an idea. After just what they did, and he's, he's talking about that boot and everything, and all that, everything I've heard everybody tell me, there must be some truth to that, because he was sure awful worried when he came up here after that boot. That's right. That's right, Barry Owens. Okay, I got an idea. How about on the 26th, right here on the big Christmas extravaganza special, why don't we put a cage around the ring, and we'll put a pole in one corner, a pole in the other, and we'll take his boot, we'll put it on one corner, and one, we'll take your glove and put it on the other corner, the glove in one corner on the pole, and his, the grappler's boot on the other, and we'll have a winner's take all, anything goes. Wait, wait a minute, Barry Owens. What, so, so what you're trying to say is you're going to put the grappler's boot on one pole and on the other pole, Judge Savage's coal miner glove 
on top of the other pole, and you're going to lock us up in a big cage, me and the grappler, on the 26th here in the Portland Sports right. Arena. No Boot on one pole, glove on the other pole, no TV, right. night of the stars, everything's been signed. Very yours. That is the greatest idea I've heard from the people of the Pacific Northwest in a long time, Jack. Steel cage match, you understand, Grappler? Big steel cage. Boot on one pole, glove on the other pole. Besides the big hair match, besides all the great stars, all the champions that night, me and the Grappler locked up in a cage. Boot on one pole, glove on another pole. I love it, baby. Oh. All right, Barry. Excitement everywhere, Don Cox. Just like I said, the 26th, I got the, hey, I got that little bitty ball, what you say, Chris Coat, locked up in the cage, and I got the big avalanche, the big whale in there. After I beat you, I'm going to take every, every hair strand off your head, Chris Coat. And look here, big Indian friend of mine, and Eugene made this for me. Instead of Lucille, baby, it looks like hard knots. You know what I mean? That's well, son of Lucille. Something. That's right. Grab your, look out, baby. Because let me tell you what, tonight, Grappler, Rip the Grappler Oliver, you got to tie up a big bull rope between us tonight, baby. And when me and the assassin get through with you, son, you're going to have to have a ride out of here. All and right. on the 26th, boot on a pole, glove on another pole, big steel cage, Grappler, you're going to find out what it feels to get hit in the head with your own boot, Jack. Man, I can't believe this. <laughs> It is one shockwave after another. We're going to go back out to the ring and get ready for our next main event. Every match we've had here tonight, a main event, and that's the way it is every Saturday night. Boy, what a shocker that is. Barry Owen comes up and lays a bomb up here. Woo! Oh! Uh, coal miner's glove and the grappler's boot. My word. Well, what do we got coming up here next? We, we've, got, we've got our television main event. Chris Colt, Steve Dahl. There's Colt. Let's bring out Dahl, shall we? We're going to bring out uh, Steve Dahl, the little style here. Warm that. Get that motorcycle going. Chris Colt yelling in there, I'm Chris the Barber Colt. I'm Chris the Barber Colt. And uh, certainly uh, Sandy Barr knows that very well because uh, Sandy was one of his uh, customers last week as Chris Colt took the shears and cut Sandy's hair. Now, uh, this is Steve Dahl and Chris Colt. This is going to be a super match. Here's the assassin back up here in the crow's nest. Assassin, I can't believe what a bomb has been laid out here. What another shockwave. John Cox, you're talking about an early Christmas present, baby. I just got the Christmas present of my life, you understand? When you talk about me and the grappler, we understand. We're talking about a big steel cage, man. We're talking about Battle of the Stars, Jack. When you talk about a big steel cage, you're talking about the grappler's loaded bull in one pole and the coal miner's glove glove on the other pole, Jack, on the 26th, right here in Portland Sports Arena, brother. Night after Christmas, night of the stars, brother. You understand? It's going to determine, Grappler, your loaded boot, Jack, that you've been putting people out midgets. You've been kicking everybody with this boot, brother. It's going to come down to a boil on the 26th, night of the stars, you understand? Boot on one pole, glove on another pole, steel cage where nobody can interfere, Grappler. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to knock you out on the 26th of December, right here in the Portland Sports Arena. It won't be on TV. I'm going to knock you out, Grappler. 
And after I knock you out with your own loaded boot, I'm going to yank that mask off your head, Jack. Assassin, you had that boot up here. You about destroyed the, the desk. There has to be some kind of steel in there. That's right. Hey, you know, Rip the Crippler Oliver, I got you and Eugene Christmas night. Your hair is on the line. My mask is on the line, Jack. The only time this mask comes off is when I want to take it off. Do you understand that, Rip the Crippler Oliver? So I guarantee you, Christmas night, Rip the Crippler Oliver, in Eugene, Oregon, brother, I'm going to shave your head in front of all those people in Eugene, brother, because we're locked up in a cage and your hair is on the line, and I'm going to shave your head. And Grappler, boot on one pole, glove on another pole, on a 26, brother, is going to be all over but the crying for you, Jack. Hey, Don Kosh, I'd like to let all my wrestling fans know exactly where I'm going to be and what I'm doing, you understand? And I'm going to be in Estacada. I'm going to be in Milwaukee, I'm going to be in Salem, Oregon, I'm going to be in Eugene, and next Saturday night I'm going to be at the Portland Sports Arena. I'm also going to be at Sandy Bar's Flea Market, you understand, tomorrow from 11 to 1, and next Saturday I'll be at Sandy Bar's Flea Market store, Jack, and I'll be there from 11 to 1 next Saturday, and I'll be there tomorrow from 11 to 1 at the fleet market signing autographs and letting everybody know exactly about me and Rip the Crippler Oliver locked up in a cage in Eugene on Christmas night with his hair on the line and me and you Grappler boot on one pole glove on another pole locked up in a steel cage besides Chris Coates hair on the line Mike Miller's hair on the line besides Habuda Dean coming back besides all the great wrestling matches Pacific Northwest Tag Team titles. Besides all that that's going on on the 26th, brother, you people of Portland, Oregon, you come to the sport, Portland Sports Arena because you're going to see somebody pay some heavy dues, and that's going to be you, Grappler, because I'm going to knock you out with your own glove, brother. I'm going to knock you out with your own boot or that glove, and I'm going to yank that mask off on a 26th deck. All right, you heard it from the assassin and the first fall of our main event goes to Steve Dahl over Chris Colt. We'll be back with more after this timeout. Free is a very good price during our happy holiday sale at Tom Peterson. Like a videotape of your youngster talking with Santa, free, nothing to buy. Or free cassette tapes with every rack audio system shown here. Your choice, only $42 a month. Choose Pioneer, complete with CD player changer. Fisher, also with CD player changer. Or Saniel, complete with video processor and CD player. That's Tom Peterson, the happy place to buy. It's worth the trip. Why is this man being so unfair to his wife? Enjoying his cold relief while she suffers. Feeling no desire to sneeze while she stifles hers. Without all the coughs and the runny nose that torture her night. Resting in the same bed where she tosses and turns. Why? Because while she took a cold tablet, he took NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Now a new cherry flavor, too. Through the years, we at Thomas and Ford have had the good fortune to make special friends and meet happy customers. During this holiday season, we extend to all of you our warmest wishes and many thanks. We hope 1988 brings you and your family peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. From all of us to all of you, the happiest of holidays. Celebrate the magic of the holidays when one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time returns to television. and Danny Kaye team up for music, romance, and holiday cheer Merry Christmas! in the Irving Berlin masterpiece, White Christmas. Make this a holiday to remember with White Christmas, Sunday night at 5 on KPTV 12. First of all, Don Coss, Matt Bourne and Barry Owens frames me and makes me put my Northwest Heavyweight title on the line next week, Jack. But let me get this right. Barry Owens comes out here after the assassin steals my boot off of me and he makes this big matchup this big promotional whim he come up with and he says okay here's what we're going to do on the 26th battle of the stars extravaganza december 26th we're going to put a steel cage around the ring we're going to put one pole in one corner one pole in the other corner we're going to put the coal miner's glove on this pole 
and he expects me to take my orthopedic boot off and put on the other pole and step into a steel cage match and wrestle. Are you a maniac, Barry Owens? Are you crazy? You're just like the assassin, man. You play me in another match. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think you're nuts, boy, and I ain't gonna do it. There ain't no way, brother. That's okay. I'm sure there'll be something worked out about this grapper. Don't worry, brother. You have to have that boot. That's an orthopedic boot. Now, Chris Coat, the barber, he's going to do some head shaving with his secret formula. <laughs> Rip the Cripple Oliver next Saturday night, Brian Adams. Don't you forget it this time, boy. Be in that ring and Rip the Cripple Oliver is going to tear your hide off, boy, one at a time. Just like Chris Coat's going to take all of me and Mike Miller's hair off one at a time. All it. of it. Slick it. down to the scalp, brother. And Don Cost, if you get in the way out there, Chris Coat may use a little of that secret formula on your hair. Chris Coat, what do you say, brother? The Crippler's got the ticket. I got some more to say except cut hair, and this is the barber month. Extravaganza month. Crippler. I've seen a lot of haircuts since I've been back, and it's only the beginning. 26th of December, Mike Miller. Awesome. Nothing I love better, brother, than to see that big goon with a bald head. <laughs> oh, my word. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go back out to the ring now and get ready for the second fall of our main event with the barber there, Chris Colt and Steve Dahl. I, can't, I don't know why he's so happy. He's just lost the first fall of his main event with Steve Dahl. This was a match that, uh, that really Chris Colt uh, created. He didn't really create it, but he, uh, he instigated against Steve Dahl, and Dahl accepted the challenge, and uh, there he is. So, see, so Chris Colt goes out there and immediately loses the first fall. And time is going to become a factor here very shortly. I'd like to say hello down along the uh, up along the line of our pro wrestling network folks in seattle ktzz channel 22 and yakima kima you folks in seattle we're coming your way again we're going to have big time wrestling in the seattle tacoma area very very soon we would recommend that you write the tv station you're watching us on right now you let them know. Call them, write them, do something. Let them know you want big-time wrestling back in the Seattle-Tacoma area. If you do that for us, it'll help us uh, get in there that much sooner. In Seattle, it's KTZZ Channel 22. Series of jabs by Steve Dahl, and Chris the Barber Colt is kind of wrapped up there in his work. As referee Sandy Barr tries to <laughs> set him free, why Steve Dahl is is working on him now. Steve is pulling on the other side of the ropes, and that just uh, makes things a little worse for Chris Colt. Wow. Look what's going on next Saturday night. Look what's going to be going on on December the 26th. Another reminder, no TV on December the 26th. By the way, WrestleMedia, the pro wrestling magazine of the Northwest, is out. It's at Rich's Cigar Store. It's at Hanson's Mercantile, 75th and Gleason. Get your copy. Find out what exactly what's going on. They got stories in here, interviews, all the wrestlers, a lot of great photos, action shots. Wait a minute. Here comes Avalanche. Avalanche interfering in the match again. Oh, and he just levels Steve Dahl. That just cost Chris Colt. The, oh, no. Oh, no. That cost Chris Colt the match, and now Colt's going to go to work, and he's going to cut Steve Dahl's there. No, 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 he isn't. Here comes the assassin. There goes Scott Peterson. Here comes Mike Miller. Well, thank goodness they got there in time. Those scissors in the hands of Chris Colt are extremely dangerous. I mean, uh, Chris Colt should not have any sharp object at all. He shouldn't be near them. They should not be in his hands. Now, uh, Chris Colt and the Avalanche, now uh, what are they going to do? They're going to run around out here a little bit. And now here comes Steve Dahl. Uh-huh. And now they're running back to the dressing room. And there's Scott Peterson, assassin, Mike Miller, coming to the to the rescue of Steve Dahl. Dahl, the winner of our main event by disqualification over Chris the Barber Colt, who didn't get a chance to do his barbering thing. But it's not the scissors that uh, Chris wants to to uh, shave everybody's heads with. It's that cream of his. Well, we'll be talking more about that and certainly hearing more about it. We're going to have a special interview with uh, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, the assassin and Mike Miller and American Ninja right after this. We'll be right back. Don't go away. It's our happy holiday sale with free gifts for you. Buy any color TV in our store and get this GE clock radio free. 
Remote color TVs on sale. RCA 19-inch remote color TV, 297. 13-inch remote color TV, 197. Zenith 25-inch remote color TV, 397. GE 25-inch remote stereo color television, 497. Now that's Tom Peterson, the happy place to buy. It's worth the trip. Discover is imaginative, asks not only the how and when and what, but the why. Ask, I guess, further not only the why, but the why not. To share our commitment to science, read Progress Magazine. It's free. Just write Progress, OSU, Corvallis. <coughs> we interrupt this call to bring you this important message. Introducing new NyQuil cherry flavor. Now people of all tastes can relieve their colds at night. New NyQuil cherry flavor. NyQuil relief. Cherry taste. Assassin, I can't believe what's going on. John Carter, a lot of crazy things going on in the Pacific Northwest, all right? Tomorrow we're in Finley. Tuesday, Estacada, Big Bull Rope Match. Wednesday, Milwaukee. Thursday, Salem. Friday, Eugene. And next Saturday night, Avalanche. I got you right here at the Portland Sports Arena. Now I want to talk about the 26th, you understand? The light under the stars, you understand? Grappler, your boot's going on one pole, my glove's going on the other pole. We're going to be locked inside of a steel cage, baby. And when it all that smoke clears, you understand, on the 26th and there ain't no TV, Jack, when all that smoke clears, brother, I'm going to knock you out, Jack, and I'm going to yank that mask right off your head on the 26th right here at the Portland Sports Arena. The 25th. Christmas night in Eugene, rip the clip, Oliver. I'm going to shave your head. And then Saturday night on the 26th, night under the stars, you understand? You understand this, Grappler? I'm coming after you, Jack. And I'm going to get that loaded boot or I'm going to get that glove. And I'm going to knock you out. There ain't nobody going to interfere, Jack, inside of a steel cage, Jack, when it's all over. We're going to find out what you look like, man. Chris Cole. Now, I don't get up here and do a lot of ranting and raving every week. I do my talking out there in the ring. But that's not wrestling, baby. If that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. Because let me tell you something. I'm from the South. And it's an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And this time it's going to be hair for hair. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to use no scissors on you. I'm going to grab a handful in each hand. And I'm going to rip it out of your head. And it's for that big goof of a bodyguard you got. Avalanche, the only way you can take on anybody is coming up from behind. You bring it on any time. Because I've taken you on in the ring. I helped you out when you got started. I taught you a lot, but let me tell you something. You mess with the wrong dude this time. Weight don't matter. I know my stuff out there. Me and you, we're going to get it before it's all said and done. It's real personal now. You started, this ain't no fight, baby. It's a war. Don Cox, everything's happening. Chris Coach, you're stirring up some stuff around here. Let me tell you something, baby. Grappler, Rip Oliver, look out, son, in a few minutes, baby, with the help of one of my friends in Milton Free Runner, Jennifer, thank you, baby, for this scarf, baby, and I'm going to have, have all the luck in the world with this. So let me tell you something. Tonight, the bull rope match, the next Saturday night, son, look out. Everything's happening in the Pacific Northwest on the 26th. Colt, you're going in that cage. I'm getting that hair. All right. Rip the cripple, Oliver. I've been hearing, hearing you run your mouth all night about me. Not show up last Saturday. I'm not here to give you any excuses. All you say is, I'll be there next Saturday in the middle of the ring. You be there. You got it, Crippler. All right, gentlemen, we are out of time. Next Saturday night, be here.
for that title match. Uh, you heard all about it, the grappler and Matt Bourne, the title match, and all those other shockwaves that we've been talking about. They're going to be happening next Saturday night as well as on December 26th. This is Don Cox. Thank you so much for joining us from the Portland Sports Arena. This has been Portland Wrestling. <laughs>